Henry Wise, I'm 18 and I play central midfielder. So, uh, Henry, how have you found this season as a whole then? Uh, it's been hard, I've had a lot of injuries, but you know, you just got to be resilient, keep working hard, and hopefully you can get through them and come out stronger mentally and physically. I mean, obviously, since sort of November, you kind of creep like getting more first team action and then the odd start here and there. Is that kind of motivating you, especially with a game like tomorrow on the horizon, wanting to try and cement a first team like starting place? Yeah, of course, yeah. Obviously, I'm injured at the moment, but obviously, you want to you want to be in the team, you want to be in the starting line, you want to be involved. So, yeah, that obviously is motivation. And obviously, the club on like a sort of 10 11 game sort of beaten run between September and January. How good was sort of the moves the month of camp and how much do you feel he's developed in that? Yeah, it was good. You know, we showed that we were, we were a good side and we could compete with some of the best in the league. And we showed that, you know, we don't go down easy. We kept going, kept the unbeaten run going. And then, yeah, it's just it's very motivational and you just want to keep it going as, as long as possible. And uh, whilst form has dipped since January against Everton, you did score a very good goal yourself. How uh, sort of much did that do for your confidence and sort of, you know, I can do this? And kind of yeah, it did lift my confidence. You know, obviously, it's my first goal of the season. So I struggled with injuries, so I'd come back. You know, I struggled to get in the team. I came on and scored. So, yeah, it did lift my confidence a bit. And then, obviously, I just wanted to keep on doing that. I just wanted to keep on playing, keep on getting that chance, keep on trying to score and assist to create goals. And obviously it's quite a footballing pedigree in your family, uh, with Dennis being your dad. How have you found, do you feel like he's uh, like your harshest critic sometimes, or is he like a really good yeah, person Yeah, it's, it's good to have him though, like, he gives me good advice. It's not nice you know, going into the car after every game, you never know what you're going to get to be honest. You never know if you're going to get hammered by it, or <coughs> like, kind of lifted positively, I don't know. But yes, yeah, it's, it's obviously, I'm very fortunate to have a dad like him, to obviously give me advice. and. Tell me obviously when I'm not doing well. <laughs> and uh, does that help obviously when you two play a very similar position? Yeah, with different different sort of players, but yeah, it helps a lot definitely because he was a central midfield I am. So yeah, he can give me he can give me the advice that obviously he got given in his playing days. So yeah, it does help. And uh, whilst obviously he was in the jungle in November and December, how was that for you like, around the team and yeah, sort of the media attention? Yeah, I got a lot of banter off from everyone. But yeah, it was it was different, it was a different experience because yeah, I've never, I've never really seen him on TV so much. Like he was on it every single day, and I'd just be watching, and everyone else would be watching. It's quite a big show, so you know the pressure was was kind of there, but you know it was different and a good experience for him. He enjoyed it, so yeah, it was different. And uh, obviously, uh, uh, you've touched on yourself uh, about injuries and obviously how frustrating it's been. You know, how, how how difficult has that been for you this season? Obviously, seeing that, for, for instance, obviously when they went on the obit run, how difficult was was that for you? Yeah, it was difficult because you just want to be out there and playing. You just want to be involved with the, the team, but you just got to keep on going. To me, just keep working hard because if you don't, then you kind of lose your head a little bit. You just got to keep strong mentally and physically. And uh, obviously, as you've mentioned, you, you play central midfield. How, how important do you think Rory in particular has been to your development, obviously playing there in, throughout his uh, illustrious playing career? Yeah, well, Rory's been there like at the top level, so obviously he has a lot of experience. He knows what it takes to to get to the top, really. And so obviously every player these days wants to play at the, in the Premier League. Everyone wants to play for their country you know, as high as possible, so it does help, yeah. And uh, obviously, growing up uh, as a young lad, uh, who who sort of was your inspiration growing up? Sort of sort of player you'd look to emulate. Obviously, when you finish your career, I, I like the I like the way Fabregas and Iniesta play. I think they're both creative midfield players, and I like, I'd like to you know, one day just be anywhere near as good as them because they are top players. But yeah, I do look up to them too. And uh, obviously, you've said uh, you are a creative player. How, how much freedom and uh, sort of confidence do, do the coaches give you to go and express yourself and obviously create chances and create assists? Yeah, they do. Like it's not too rigid. Like you can just play freedom, especially in that number ten role, which I quite like. You just kind of you're in there to create, in there to get goals and, and really just create goals. So that is helpful. Yeah. Midfield as well. And obviously you've just touched on playing as a number 10, obviously Matej has just had a fantastic season this season playing in a similar role. Uh, how much of his game have you analysed and how much do you think that obviously his fantastic players couldn't help you develop as a player? Yeah, he's a different sort of player, you know, he used to be a striker but yeah he is doing very well at number 10, he's scoring a lot of goals. And another player who I looked up to when he was here was Will Hughes because he was very similar to that sort of, you know, that he wasn't physically big, wasn't that, but technically he was quite good. He was on the ball. He was quite creative, and that's sort of what I want to 
be that sort of player when I'm on. And obviously Will coming through the academy, as you hope to do yourself, how much confidence does that give you that there is a pathway into the first team? Yeah, they show it here, like, a lot of good players coming through the academy, going on to bigger and better things and obviously just staying in the team. You know, they, they show, they give a lot of young players the opportunity and hopefully one day, you know, Everyone here just believes that they can get that chance as well. So you just got to keep believing, working hard, and hopefully one day that will come off. Yeah, that's bro. Yeah.